thank you uh, for being here with us, supporting this great cause of the GFDD uh, with all the activities that we do uh, uh, through the years. Bueno, lamentablemente tenemos que suspender la realización del torneo de golf, ¿verdad? Porque la lluvia ha impedido eh, hacer uso del terreno. Bueno, entonces lo que se ha hecho como plan B es unos juegos de mesa que se va a tener el poker y el otro es black, black jacket, y así se dice en español también, black jacket. Sí, bueno, entonces dos juegos de mesa eh, y dominó también para que se recuerden de los barrios en Santo Domingo, ¿verdad? Así pues que lamentamos que no se puede hacer directamente el torneo. Gracias por su apoyo, gracias por su contribución y aún con la lluvia, para adelante que vamos. ¿eh? Yeah. President Fernandez, distinguished guest, Hall of Famer Juan Marichal, and the other distinguished guest who had to leave, a future Hall of Famer, Albert Pujols, friends. On behalf of the Global Foundation for Democracy and Development, GFDD New York, we would like to welcome you to the 19th Annual Golf Tournament Gala. We really, really appreciate your presence here tonight because of the worthy cause that you're supporting. Unfortunately, tonight, or today rather, we had to postpone the, uh, the golf tournament because of the rain. But we're here and this is a cost. I can't tell you how happy I am to be here uh, with all of you celebrating our 19th tournament. Thank you, all of you, for uh, being here. I want to acknowledge um, Juan Marichal, uh, Arbet Pujo that was here supporting our event, um, and people that are in the table, uh, in the main table with the president, uh, Guillermo Sencion, a, a, a businessman from the Dominican Republic, um, the engineer Francisco Gomez, Jose Espinal, Ambassador Avila, Giselle Castillo, um, also we have here uh, Carlo Feli and Morrobel, Gregorio Morrobel, from the NSA past president Mariano Diaz, and uh, a leader in the industry, uh, Anthony Espinal, and uh, one of the main, main companies, of the main companies, they always support our event, General Trading, Jonathan A. But, uh, thank you for your support. Also, uh, I'd like to thank um, I'd like to thank uh, Paul Gordis that is uh, in, and in day in and day, and day out uh, helping us uh, every day and uh, to make this, this possible with a lot of hard work and, uh, and dedication. Also, Dr. Tapia. Every time I have uh, an issue, I call Dr. Tapia. He's always say, yes, Rudy, whatever you need. He's always there. Thank you, doctor, for always being there for us. And also, part of our team, Ricardo Jacob, that celebrate the, the tournament that we have in, uh, in Florida. They do a great job over there. Thank you, Ricardo and, and Jose Saita. Today, the weather did not help. However, this is our 19th golf tournament that we celebrate. And this is the first time that it rained. So I was saying this morning, look in the Hall of Fame and the future Hall of Fame that we have uh, with us here, Juan Marichal and Albert Pujols. 
the our average is as good as the Arbet Pujo hit the home run and as good as Juan Marichal uh, was pitching. So we're doing good. We're doing good. And it's like uh, Quixote de la Mancha used to say, if the storm attacks us in the middle of the desert, we will fight and we will prevail. Or like um, uh, Helen Keller, that it says that the curve in the road is not the end of the road on, on, unless that you forgot to make the turn. And today, we make that turn. We uh, find out that combining the networking and the entertainment to the goal is a big access to it. I got to tell you that today is the day of the, go of the golf tournament that I have the most fun. And thank you, you guys, for being with us and being part of it. As you know, all of you um, help all the great causes that GFDD do through the year. And that's why I identify myself with GFDD, seeing at first hand all the, the solutions as a think tank, helping out with global solutions for global pro problems. And this week is not an session. This week we have a very, very important um, forum uh, where it's going to start. Uh, we have the cocktail on Wednesday and start Thursday uh, from 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock and then Friday from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. It's very, very important uh, that you see all these world-renowned panelists um, uh, having these uh, beautiful uh, forums. Very, very interesting. So I commend you to join us that you can actually see a first hand like me what great job the GFDD does. So thank you, thank you all of you for that. Now I would like to call uh, Ricardo uh, Jacob, uh, but before we do that, uh, I would like, President, that you uh, come to the podium and give it a few words. Well, thank you, Rudy, for your friendship, for your leadership, and for everything that you do so generously for the Global Foundation for Democracy and Development, and everything you touch here in New York or back in the Dominican Republic. I want to thank all of you for your support over the years. This is our 19th golf tournament. So to sustain during 19 years a golf tournament, you have to be consistent. And you have been consistent over all those years. Next year, our 20th anniversary has a significant, uh, a great significance, I would say, and then we have to make it a big celebration next year. So we're going to start praying very early on to ask God, please, not to rain on the 20th anniversary. Right? And I hope that God can listen to our prayers so we can make it a great celebration next year, September 2024, which should coincide with our victory back in the Dominican Republic. So hopefully... I can come back as the newly elected president of the Dominican Republic 2024 and 2028. Hopefully, we have to pray a lot to make this happen, all right? You know, when I was a child uh, growing up here in New York, and I was uh, playing Little League Baseball in Riverside Drive, my major dream was, my great dream was to become like Juan Marichal. He has always been my hero, my idol, always my uh, reference in life. When I was about 10 years old, a member, an adult member of our family took me to Polo Grounds to see a baseball game between the New York Mets and the San Francisco Giants. And the idea was that Juan Marichal was going to pitch that night. Regrettably, Juan Marichal did not pitch that, that night, but I saw the whole game. And around the eighth inning, more or less, as I remember, I know it was almost at the end of the game, one of the mid hitters hit a, a line drive towards the right field, and the ball was going, was, going, was going out for a home run. The Giants player, playing right field, ran with his back uh, to the home plate. And then he made a leap and caught the ball, and everybody in the stadium just jumped up and standing ovation. And I asked the person who was with me, who is that player, number 23 for the Giants, 
who plays right field, and he said, Felipe Rojas alone. So I didn't see Juan Marichal playing that night, but I saw a Dominican, a great Dominican, Felipe Alou, creating a roar within the crowd that was there at the polo grounds. And seeing that, seeing that play made by the Dominican and seeing the reaction that all the people there made, I kind of connected. I was not conscious at the time, but I kind of connected a relationship between <clears throat> baseball and the Dominican Republic. Later on, I would go to Shea Stadium many times, especially when the San Francisco Giants came to town. I would go very early to the stadium to see Juan Marichal warm up. He never noticed me. I always kind of greeted him, but, but he never noticed me. He never paid attention to me, right? <clears throat> but I always saw him, and I, I enjoyed every game he pitched. When he was not in New York, but uh, pitching in some other town, I always knew about it. And the next day I would buy the Daily News and I would read it from the back up because on the back page is where they had the, the, the sporting news. Yeah? And so the first news I would look is what happened the day before when Juan Marichal pitched. And if he won the game, I was the most happiest guy in town. If he lost the game, I didn't want to speak to anybody. I felt it as if, 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 as if I had pitched and I had lost the game. Life is very tricky. Over the years, well, I, I wanted to be a baseball player, as I said before, and when, I, when the coaches decided I was not good to become a baseball player, then I decided to become president. Right? <laughs> so, so that's how it happened. But then, being president, I was lucky enough to have Juan Marichal come in on board and become our minister, our minister of sports. At the time, we said Secretary of Sports, Secretario de Deportes. And he became the most, uh, the most successful minister of sports ever in the Dominican Republic. <clears throat> and one of my great achievements in life is that I have this close relationship with him. It is so close that people say we look alike. <laughs> and I always have to say he's more handsome. <laughs> and I know Doña Alma agrees with that. <laughs> right, so it's, it's been a friendship that grows over the year, it strengthens over the year. And anything we have asked Juan to help us with, he has always been there right away. For 19 years, he has been supporting this event. He's here today. And uh, he makes us feel proud of the talents that we have in the Dominican Republic. The first Dominican to make it to Cooperstown. In difficult times, <clears throat> in difficult times, because I know there was a lot of exclusion, a lot of segregation, a lot of racism at the time that Juan Marichal was, was playing Major League Baseball. And uh, the last thing that happened to me was about three, four years ago, I was in San Francisco. I was visiting the town, and then I went to the ballpark. It was off season, <clears throat> and I started walking around his, his statue in San Francisco. And so when I was there, a young boy comes up to me and says, can you please give me an autograph? And I say to myself, wow, am I so famous that even here in San Francisco, little boys know that I was president in the Dominican Republic? Wow, this is quite interesting. Then another boy comes and says, please, can you give me an autograph? I said, of course. And then, you know, I'm kind of getting into it. I said, wow, I'm, I'm really famous. I have to move to San Francisco and see if at least I can become mayor of the city. Right? But then the third one comes in and says, Mr. Marischal, can you please give me an autograph? <laughs> and that was it. That was it. So as you can see, we're soul brothers. We just can't do anything different. I want to thank you for your support, for your help, for your friendship, for being who you are. Great in the field, a gentleman out of the field. Good friend. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Thank you, everybody. Now I'm going to take the opportunity to introduce uh, Ricardo Jacob from, from the Florida. Uh, he, he's the one who does the, the tournaments in, uh, in Miami. 
And he just told me now in my ear, coming up, he said, Rudy, I'm going to implement this in, uh, in Miami. This is a great networking, and we had a lot of fun. So I want to Jacob to introduce the winners of today's uh, tournament and uh, excitement that we have. Gracias, Rudy. Presidente Fernández, gracias otra vez por este hermoso torneo. Gracias, Rudy. Gracias, José. Estimado Salón de la Fama, orgullo nuestro, don Juan Marichal, y a todos los que nos acompañan en la mesa. Yo voy a decir, los del Black Jack, entonces, Saiter nos va a ayudar con los de póker, porque hay un temita ahí con, con intereses encontrados. Categoría Black Jack, primer lugar, Rubén Luna. Rubén. No está por aquí Rubén. Chris Luna, primer lugar también en categoría Black Jack. Y tenemos a TJ Fuertes, primer lugar también en categoría Black Jack. TJ Fuertes. Ahora, nuestro amigo Saiter va a darnos la categoría de, de póker. En la categoría de póker tenemos a Matt Dempo. ¿Es he here? Matt Dempo. Y finalmente en la categoría también de póker hay un, un señor que se llama Ricardo Jacobo que ganó también. Entonces, ¿Está por ahí? Ah, está, está aquí atrás. Presidente, por favor, si puede pasar al podio por una foto con los ganadores. Eso de Ricardo no fue arreglado, ¿eh? De nuevo, gracias por venir y nos vemos el año que viene.